Hey everyone, today I'm going to show how to use Swap. Uh, I know some people have been asking about it um, and today's that day. So this is actually gonna be like a combo video. I'm gonna both show how to use Swap, so a little bit of a tutorial, but I'm also going to rerun an account. So this will be the first of those videos as well. This account, however, probably doesn't need my help but we're gonna use it as an example. So it's a little bit of like a kind of a guest thing. It's a valued member of the community, AKA Firos Firos, SWC contender, one of the co-hosts of the World Arena podcast. Um, and I'm gonna try not to expose too much, but obviously you're gonna be seeing some of his runes and see like sort of the rune quality uh, of a top player. Uh, his rune quality is obviously better than mine. A general, uh, a general thought about his account going in, which is stuff I know about it, is that uh, his runes are, are really great, but he doesn't really have uh, what I would call like the the fast LD abuse units. Like he doesn't have Veronica, he doesn't have Maxi, he have the, you know, like that, that sort of stuff. Like his, most of his LD5s are uh, very defensive. So what I'm, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to... So he has the rune quality to be able to rune up almost anything. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a general, like how to figure out the, like say the speed you want to tune at, um, uh, sort of like that process uh, with his account. And then, uh, and then also like, how do you rune up like counter pick options after it? So uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to, we're going to take a look um, at his account, but I'm also going to give a general swap tutorial. So we're going to, we're going to go through the entire part of it. I'm not going to do a summoners or exporter tutorial though. There's a ton of those on the internet already. Um, and it's a bunch of just like technical finagling, uh, that you'll have to figure out. So, uh, maybe I'll make one later, but that's not what I'm covering here. This is literally how to use swap and how I use swap. So there's, there's probably a lot of options I don't even use. Other people will may disagree with my strategy, but it's what I've been using. Um, I know there's some there's some uh, details in there that like I personally don't mess with that some people do, whatever. Uh, this is just sort of this is how to ruin an account somewhat quickly. Also, because the the main thing is that I can go through an account very fast usually to get something that works. This is the main screen of Summoner's War Optimizer. Okay, so I'm using the Pro Edition. There are two different versions. There's the some actually three technically. There's a web one which I don't use. There's Summoner's War Optimizer, which you can get on through the, the Microsoft Store, uh, you know, the Windows Store. And then there's Summoner's War Optimizer Pro, which is also through the Windows Store. Uh, the main benefit to it is that it will use your GPU, so it crunches through builds like much faster, so you can have like more search space, because it's basically doing every combination, right? So when it's doing billions of combinations, more computation power is better. And the Pro version allows you to do that. But it's only $10 once, it's not a subscription. So if you, honestly, I think anyone who really likes to use Swap should purchase it just to support uh, the creator. So first things first, you're, you'll be looking at this screen. Once you've exported from Summoner's War Exporter, you're gonna have this .json file. It'll have uh, your, uh, your username in the game as the name of it. So you can pick between the normal build and you can pick between the RTA build. All that means is that, is it going to use the runes as they're on, as they are on your, like, you know, in PVE, or is it gonna use the ones specifically in the RTA section? And we're gonna use the ones in the RTA section. It technically doesn't matter if all you're using it for is that purpose. Say, say for instance, you have two Swift builds that you know you want locked in, and then everything else is fine. You can import the RTA ones and then go into the monster section and, and lock them. Um, anyway, so you, you click import, it takes just a second, it'll pop up, and um, I had already imported this, uh, so it won't say it, but right here is when it's done. It'll show you how many runes and how many monsters were imported. We're actually going to take a look real quick at his account before we start importing. So the reason why I say is that he has a bunch of really good defensive units, as he has like Pater, he has Tian Lang, um, he just recently got Juno, although I don't really like Juno. Um, he has Eleanor, also super good defensive LD5. For right now, uh, I'm just going to stick with a very normal kind of a build, and then we're typically gonna use his LD5s as counter picks. So the idea is, based on just what I saw, is that Pater and Tian Lang and Eleanor are gonna be the main three counter picks because all three of those are very, very annoying. So let's get back to swap. The, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna figure out what kind of team you wanna build. The main place where you do builds and swap is this 
is this section. The optimizer section is this one right here. I, I did a little bit of searching just to speed this up, but, but effectively what we're gonna do is, because I know his runes are fast enough to support this, thing is this will work for any speed. It's just that if you, the lower rank you are, okay, as a, as a general philosophy thing, is that there's kind of a baseline for how fast you need to be for RTA because like, for instance, as an example, if you just literally have legend grinds on blue runes, right? Let's do some quick math. If you have legend grinds on blue runes, so plus 18 speed runes, right? You're gonna have, what, 23 per slot, which gets you to 100, 115 plus 42. So 157. So, so basically, your, your minimum speed to be even reasonable in RTA, if you are not plus 160 on a violent unit, your issue is farming, not anything else, right? Like if you can only ruin a plus 140, you are a slacker. If you just did get plus 18, so basically roll every blue rune you can get, and then put even plus fours on them, you are at like 252. So any triple basically puts you to 260. And I refuse to believe that there are people who can't hit that amount. If you're below that, your issue is probably not your draft. The issue is that you are not good at farming. And farming is actually how you win this game. If you have good runes, you can just accidentally get yourself into, into like C3, right? So we are going to be looking at some kind of CC cleave. And then typically we're going to do late counter picks into abusive LDs that they were essentially going to, we're going to want them to be forced to ban. So uh, a very common CC cleave right now is going to be a Heigang Chungpung kind of a setup, like Heigang first pick because he's so good at anti CC cleave, but also as a stripper. So like spending a lot of good runes on Heigang is actually not that bad in 2023. So. Uh, so that's what we're going to concentrate on. Is going to be that build? I, I stole this uh, from Raxes. Uh, basically, he's the big brain. I think who created it, but he's at least the person who told me about it. So all the credit to Rax for this specific kind of a setup. It's really fantastic and something you should be prepared for because at least higher in the ladder, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a good number of people are using it, and it's really, really, it's it's a great all around build. Uh, for you to try in, in RTA. So now let's go over how to tune a team like when you know nothing, basically. Uh, the, the assumption is that you probably know something about your own account, but sometimes you don't know actually, like you've, over time, you've tuned things at a certain speed, but you've made like little sacrifices to make it like work, even though it's not optimal. And what I'm gonna look for is how do you make an actual optimal team, right? Um, you're, so what you're gonna wanna do is you need to figure out what is your mid-speed tuning? That's how I always start. And what I mean by that is what what is the speed if you if, assume, okay, think about it this way. If Swift sets didn't exist and you had to have all of your units speed tuned, like with no boosters, how fast can you go? Um, and that's, that's the first question you need to answer. And what I mean by that is like say your first mover, in our case is gonna be Hey Gang, but it could be anything. If it's on despair, how fast does it go? And then what's the next mover? Who moves after Hey Gang if you can't have Hey Gang or if you need to draft something different? Um, and then how fast does that person need to go? So like say your Hey Gang is 270 on despair, despair will, because if you're using Hey Gang, everything has to be on will pretty much. If it's on despair will and you, Draft Hey Gang first. That means that Hey Gang has to be 270, and every follow up needs to be slower than that. So 269 at minimum. Say Hey Gang's 270, Chung Punk's 269, Taor's 268, etc. That's that's like your mid speed tuning set point. Your Swifts can go faster than that, and then every follow up needs to be slower than that. Typically, somewhere in that set of tuning, you're going to have ATB pushbacks or ATB boosters. So like, for instance, if you have a gap between like say 269 Chungpong and then the next fastest you can have is like a 262, that's typically like okay, except that if they ban Heigang, now you have a non-boosted strip at 269 followed by like a 262 follow-up, which means theoretically you need something in the middle that has an ATB pushback. In your normal case, you can go Heigang Chungpong, Chungpong is the pushback, or if you have an ATB booster in front of both of those, 
then if they ban Hey Gang, you're still potentially tuned between your whatever your ATB booster is, your Chung Pung, and the thing following it. That's that's what I mean by being tuned. Like no matter what they ban, your combo needs to go off because if you if they ban Hey Gang and you strip with Chung Pung and then their uh, Shizuka is 267, and then your follow ups go, then you're gonna be like you'll have no more strips. They just put up an immunity and you lose. That's that's what happens. So. What we need to do first is figure out, okay, so what's the fastest? And again, this is this is Frost's account, so let's see. Uh, we're gonna start with Hey Gang. Um, so I wanted on Despair Will. This is this is the build I would like. It's already filling in his presets, so he had it previously on Speed Attack Attack. I don't really care about Speed Attack Attack. Um, so in this case, so I'm actually going to allow, but I also don't really like, um, I only like percentage stats, so I'm not gonna do any, because I like efficiency. So like for, especially for a first tuned unit, I'm not gonna make any of these weird sacrifices where I don't know if he has like a quad flat HP on slot four, but I don't want a quad flat HP on slot four. I want HP percent or attack percent or whatever. So so we're filling in the stats that's allowable. In this case, all of the HP, per, uh, like all of the percentage stats and accuracy is slot six. Uh, you're going to want to unclick this, use only runes from inventory. This is on by default. So turn that off so that it's using all runes across all your monsters. Keep, don't click use locked runes because nothing is locked. And as we as we figure out builds, we're gonna lock the runes so that it doesn't use them in future builds. Uh, so for Hey Gang, we're going for a, we're going for an attack HP priority. The reason we want at least some attack is so that he can potentially kill a Douglas later or land a spares or, or whatever. Um, and then we obviously want speed and we want accuracy. So here we're setting a focus to decrease the number of, like basically this speeds up how fast it will generate builds. And then I'm going search depth 50. If you're not using pro, you may only be able to set this to 10 or 15. This is basically like how many, if you think, I'm not gonna explain it, but the higher this number is, the better, uh, or the, the more builds it's going to consider. Uh, you can do something with these with the uh, the waiting tunings. I just use the defaults mostly because with a long search depth, you don't have to mess with this too much. Okay, so we're going to. Sorry, I was messing around earlier just to get an idea. So I, what I want to do is first I need to figure out okay how fast can I go on this focus that hits appropriate thresholds. So I'm going to say because for us is fast, we're going to set a minimum 280, and I'm also going to assume I don't know this 100% but I'm going to assume he has at least a plus 15 accuracy skill two artifact. So basically we can go with a 70 accuracy and then pick up the extra because a Hey Gang is not an additional focused monster. So we don't need uh, to go 85 ac as a minimum. Okay, actually, let me explain this real quick. These filters set bounds for the builds. So whenever I say this is gonna be a minimum 280, I'm saying anything below 280 speed just don't even show it. Just completely prune that out. We don't even want to consider it. Anything below 70 accuracy, we don't care. We don't, we don't want it. All I'm doing right now is setting a very general set of constraints so that I can get like a max speed, essentially. Like, so we hit this, we hit optimize. We see, okay, so he has a 288 available on our constraints. This build's insane, right? But the problem is, is that this might be his fastest if one, based on my constraints, but also based on uh, like if he can't match this speed with his other units, then there's no point, right? As I said, if this is 288 and his Chung Pung is like 282, then there, there's no point. And then I went immediately to say Chung Pung. So we're gonna go violent will, only speed, only speed as the only constraint. And then basically I wanna see, can I even hit a 287 here? So let's also set like minimum accuracies. So he can, <laughs> he's still, okay, well. Okay, some people's accounts are better, <laughs> just better. Okay, so you actually can tune behind that 285 or the 288, right? So actually let's go slower than 288. Uh, let's say 287 as a minimum. And then let's go, uh, let's go attack, HP, HP, attack, ack. We want 85 ack and then we're gonna go, same kind of build, I don't like crit rate Chung Pong. So we're gonna tune behind that 288. So we can go this maximum efficiency build at this 1591 on 85 accuracy. So this is like the perfect build, right? Essentially to follow behind that 288. 
So this is this is so I'm actually just going to take the max efficiency. So one of the shortcuts that I often use is this kind of setup where I go speed, attack, HP, accuracy, focus, and then I literally just pick the most efficient one. So the thing is though, is it's not technically actually, and see how so the, the the it's a super shorthand for doing it fast, but the issue is that some of that accuracy or some of that. Um, Efficiency is in both crit rate and resistance. So we're getting like what four rolls three rolls in resistance and like a bunch of rolls in crit rate So like for instance something we could do is actually go highest effective hit points and then um, Let's see The damage is pretty high effective hit points So this minimizes the crit rate, but doesn't minimize the res so so for instance if we look at this efficiency it's 162,000 effective. Actually, let's un let's undo this. So it's only 170, 162 effective hit points when it could be minimum 190. So let's actually set a new constraint of 180,000 effective hit points because we want to be tanky. And then instead of going for efficiency, we can actually just maximize the damage. Like what's the highest damage or even like what's the highest attack, right? So this one sets your minimum efficiency. This one sets your minimum damage. So we can hit pretty near his, his effective hit points while also having higher, uh, almost higher attack. But this, so anyway, this is another 288. So let's actually go with the 287. Um, slightly less efficient, but actually now let's, let's go with the other 288. So these are gonna be tuned at literally the same speed. Okay, now that we have two units tuned, so these are both 288, so that's gonna be our, our, our mid-speed mid tuning point. Um, we can now go throw them. In. So the other thing we're gonna be using a lot is the speed tuning section right here. So we can go do this. Chung Pung, Hey Gang, set RTA takes plus 15. So now they're tuned and we're always gonna to have to pick Hey Gang in front of Chung Pung, but Hey Gang is gonna be basically our first pick all the time. So the fact that these are the same speed doesn't matter. There's basically no no situation where we will ever pick Chung Pung in front of Hei Gang. So both of these being the same speed is perfectly fine. <clears throat> okay, so now we have our core, our first two picks. These are always gonna be our first two picks or pretty darn close. Occasionally we might pick something second after Chung Pung, but that's gonna be fine. Uh, next up, we're gonna set our, our fast unit. So in this case, we're gonna use Escher. It's gonna be on Swift, um, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I actually like hit crit rate Escher and I kind of like it on Will. So let's see if we can build something here um, on speed, crit rate, HP. Here it's going to be like whatever his fastest Swift is. So I'm going to say he set a 330 minimum. And I just want to see what's our fastest Escher whenever. So, so using these constraints, we can do a 332 Escher, which is not super fast, but it's fast enough. And that's a crit rate Escher. Um, we can actually do 100 crit rate. Let's see if we can get 100 crit rate, Escher, on 332. We can't, we can only do 331. I don't think that matters exactly. Uh, 118 efficiency, look at that. Um, let's see, 331, 16. Is 331 over 332 gonna matter? Probably not. So something we can check is that the, the tuning works here with an Escher. He's 331. This is tuned if this guy's even, so the, his, his Swifts are not up, up to the same par as his Violent. Like his Violents are disgusting, <laughs> but that's how it be, right? So, but he, he as I said, having, having one top, like say 300 speed Violent set actually doesn't do that much because you can't tune to it. Like it, it would have to be a, a unit that does like a strip pushback. So like, for instance, you could actually do something like a, uh, you know, like, like a violent Gianna at that speed, like something that sets up the rest of your team. Um, so do we want the 331 or do we want the 332? I actually like having hundred crit rate and I don't think one speed's gonna matter. So let's actually do the 331 just because we get a nice hundred speed round number. Um, efficiency, so effective hit points is pretty good. EHP is good. This one's slightly less. So the 117 is the second efficiency. 
I don't think we need to use up that efficiency though for this. Has the same crit damage, a little bit less tanky. Let's actually take this 114 just because it doesn't waste any of the crit rate. It uses, it, it wastes res though. So let's, uh, let's actually just take the top set, I guess. Because it's like a little bit more damage. It's not a ton more, but it'll use more from additionals. So we're gonna go with the extra build. So 331, this is tuned. We'll check it anyway, because I already did, but. So a 331 tuning. So when you're looking at this speed tuning, what you're looking for is this next number. So after Escher goes, it'll give you the speed minimum that it, this unit needs to be. So in this case, we're 288 when it, we only need 281. So this is like super tuned. So like he could actually go up to, if, he, if his swifts were a little better, he could potentially go to 330. Yeah, he could be like 340 before this starts becoming potentially untuned. So we're gonna take the three, the 330, or 331, my mistake. Okay, so this is gonna be our core setup, is the escher Hagang chung pung combo. You've probably seen it a few times. A few people have streamed with it, it's pretty nice. Let's, let's, uh, let's, take, a, let's take a walk down uh, Summoner's War lane real quick, just to take a look at his, some of his, uh, his speed leads. So he has, obviously we have Oliver, we have, um, Actually, he doesn't really use to me right now. My uh, Ryu, I don't really like Ryu with this build though. So we're not gonna use Ryu, uh, at least not primarily. So we're, what I'm looking at is probably going to be Tomoe, Oliver. Tomoe is going to be our most typical pick, I think, with the way this is gonna be set up. So we're gonna be using, um, we're gonna tune up Tomoe first. Okay, so Tomoe, so let's check our speeds here, here real quick. So this is gonna to need to be 280. So with speed lead, this is tuned at 288. So this is the thing is with speed leads. Oh, actually no, 286. So see how with the speed lead, see how this top number changes. So it's in combat speed. Both these are 328. This one's 327 when the in game speed is 286, which means that whenever we ruin it right here, this needs to be 286 to be tuned. So this is here, let's, again, we can go crit rate. I don't really wanna do crit rate, but it might be fine. Um, attack, act. If we use a bomber, if we spread bombs here, for instance, then um, having high attack with her is actually pretty nice. So we're gonna say a minimum of 286, or actually a maximum of 286, a minimum of 285. Because if we go 287, we're actually untuned in some situations. Uh, she doesn't really use additionals that well, so let's go with 70 act. What I do here for um, for the reason why I choose different levels of accuracy is that if it's an if it's a unit that takes advantage of additional damage pretty well, aka like Chung Pong is not bad at it, then you want to get all the accuracy off of runes because you need more room for additionals. If they don't use additionals very well, then you just want to leave some accuracy room and then get it on their artifacts. So we need a 286. He has 286s available. So instead of looking at these 285s, I'm just gonna set a hard 286 so that it's perfectly tuned. Although with 285, we actually have room to put a, um, like actually let's do 285 because that's potentially I could fit a bomber in between at 286. Like we could maybe even put Zima in here and that would be really, really fun. Um, so if we take a 285, so these are all on accuracy. Oh, so see see how this is, see how we're starting to get like bad builds, quote unquote. So I don't want crit rate here. Let's actually get rid of the crit rate. I say bad builds, but it's it's like we're, we're starting to get these like mediocre, like maybe not quite as good kind of builds. Like notice like the 120, 120 accuracy kind of stuff. Like we, we basically want to, let's set our max accuracy to like 90 so that we're not over accuracying. <laughs> Because like, even if you just sort by efficiency, all those ones with like 115 efficiency, but like 130 accuracy are just worse builds. Like, because it counts the accuracy as efficiency, even though it's not useful at all, right? So these are super tanky, but not super good. Let's actually see if we can hit, so let's, let's say like, so if I sort by efficiency, these are all very tanky builds, but they don't do much damage. And she kind of needs to do damage, especially if we end up pairing her with a bomber or something interesting later. So these are all super tanky with high defense. I don't want it. Let's set a minimum of like say 1400 attack to filter out a few of these like super tanky ones. So like, here we go, here's 110 efficiency. So only slightly less overall efficiency, but 
it's it gave up like a little less effective hit points for a ton more attack. Like here, same thing. Like we're at here, we're down to 172, but up to 1532 attack. It's pretty nuts. So let's take this 285 because I kind of like this build. It's still super tanky. Has like the accuracy is maybe a little bit too high. Like I would actually love to have one of these 70 accuracy builds. Let's actually set like a max 80 accuracy just to see if we can if we can uh, get something even thicker. Yeah, this is good. Let's let's go with this one. So this is what I mean. You can kind of you can do some hijinks here. So we lock that, and then so now now we can check our speed tuning. So it looks like this. So we actually have room. See how there's a 328 and a 326. We now have room for to slot a 327, maybe even like a Zima. Uh, actually, I don't even have it if he has Zima. Oh, he does have Zima. So yeah, we can we can totally add a Zima in here. This will be awesome. Hopefully, we have the speed to do it. Anyway, let's take a look. All right, let's see if we can get uh, Zima rune. So what we need to do is get Zima at two two eighty seven. No, no, that's okay. So Zima actually needs to be two eighty eight. So that might be a hard stretch at this point because we've already used a lot of violent runes. Um, but it needs to be tuned in between Chungpeng and Tomoe. So let's see if we can stretch to get Zima into that speed slot. Probably on Violent. Um, let's, I don't think we'd want him on crit rate, but I, I feel like we're actually gonna, let's see if we can even build him that fast, right? He needs to be somewhere in this 288 range. Let's see, at least 288 speed. So we can go 287. So at 287, he's tuned exactly with Tomoe. But that's probably, it's kind of fine because Tomoe, if we draft it in the right order, it won't matter. And if we don't draft it in the right order, then Tomoe can skill two into skill three. But like the problem with doing that is that if they pick Tianlang, you like can desync yourself. But we can usually just try to pick Zima in front of Tomoe. So let's actually just do the 287 build. So 287 minimum. And let's do, let's set some more constraints here. We don't want crit rate. Um, and we need 287 minimum. If we go max efficiency, it's pretty okay. It's kind of low HP actually. So it's not super tanky. We need more accuracy than this. Let's say 70 minimum accuracy. I mean, Tomoe's a bomb, or not Tomoe, uh, Zima's a bomber. So it's not like the worst. So we're, we're definitely low on efficiency. 107 efficiency for an account like Ferocious is kind of like popper, basically. So, but I think it's fine at this point. It's on crit rate, which is gross. That's that's the real problem is, is we're required to use a crit rate rune. But unfortunately to get it tuned, this is what we gotta do. So we're actually gonna go with the crit rate, uh, with the crit rate Zima, which is hilarious. But hey, it's damage, I guess. So let's go with this one. That's a 287 Zima on crit rate, which unfortunately just our tuning is such that it's going to require it. Let's go check him out. So we'll take him back out, put him back in, 287. He's tuned in the same order as Tomoe. That's fine. So we just pick him first and he'll go in front of Tomoe. This is basically going to be our core comp and we just have to figure out what other stuff we want to use with it. So we're going to be kind of heavy on fire. So we have a water unit, we have a wind unit, we have double fire. So. We're going to need more follow-ups than just this. Like, theoretically, we could pick this as our core team, like, every time if we get it. We may not get it every time. That's kind of a big deal. Um, and in addition, like, say, Tomoe doesn't... If they ban Chungpong, for instance, and they bring heavy water, we're on double fire with no pushbacks into heavy water. So in cases where we don't need Escher, as an example, um, we may either want to have more water units, so, like, water pushbacks, or more wind pushbacks. So we're actually going to rune up... As backups, we're gonna pick uh, Oliver because we have the speed lead, and also um, maybe Charlotte. Charlotte's Charlotte's really good. Um, just in general, the occult girls are fantastic, and Charlotte's like one of the best ones and has been good for quite a long time. So let's actually go. Um, let's run up Oliver and uh, Charlotte. Neither of them need to be particularly fast. Let's do Oliver first. Um, so he had him on a resist build. Screw that, I don't like that. We hate that kind of build. Uh, they don't need to be particularly, f actually, you know what? Before we do this, because I feel like our counter picks are, let's, let's root up Tian Lang first, because that's gonna be our most common counter pick slash force ban. Uh, we're gonna be picking a lot of Tian Lang most likely. So he had it on a speed HP HP build. Let's, I'm kind of fine with uh, lowering attack. He had an okay amount of attack on his build, I think. It doesn't need to be particularly fast due to just how 
these units work. 270, let's say, say 275, it probably can go faster than that, but 275 seems kind of safe. So let's just see, this is gonna be probably a most efficient build. And then 50 acts so that it can land something. Um, so this is a 276 with 60 ack, slower than he used to have it and slightly less tanky, but still pretty tanky and sort of okay-ish attack. This one's a little even less tanky than that one and closer to the same amount of attack he had previously. I'm actually gonna go with this one. This this one with, has a little bit more damage. Um, oh, this one's got 15 crit rate though. Actually, no, let's, let's just go with the most efficient one. I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. The only reason I'm doing this is because these other two follow-ups are not going to be nearly as picked as often as our primary set, and they're going to be slower. So I'd rather put some of our good runes on the counter picks before we, um, like, really kind of get going on those. Uh, so let's. So Tian, now that Tian Lang's ruined, just just to make sure he's ruined, we're going to go back to Oliver. So again, violent will, speed, HP, attack, attack, HP. He's so easy to build; it's like ridiculous, right? Um, and again, probably like 70 accuracy for him. Say 275 men. He's so easy to build. He's so easy to build. He is so easy to build. Okay, so if we were to pick Oliver, if we ever pick Oliver, this is still tuned. I'm just checking that the tunings are correct. At 275, he, he goes behind Tomoe, which is okay. If we could go 280, he'd... He has to go pretty fast. Like a 280, I mean, 284 would be where he needs to be. So what's our fastest here? We can go 282 and get most of our accuracy. Pretty efficient, only 107 efficiency. If we want really high efficiency, let's try a 280 speed. So whenever you're building stuff, you're gonna be tinkering with these constraints a lot. Um, so we can go with 281 with almost max act. I actually don't need max act though. So we can go here to get more stats. Oh no, this is actually less stats. Where stats go? Oh, it's more it's more tanky though, technically, because of the defense. So let's actually go with this 281. I'm pretty fine with that. So that gets it close to being where Tomoe's at, but not quite. And then uh, the other one we're gonna do is we're gonna do Charlotte. She's gonna be also, same thing, Violent Will. I'm not a big fan of Despair on most of these. Um, and she's gonna be, again, very similar build. This is like just to, to go off of pure additionals. Um, so let's, see, let's put Oliver in as he is. So if we ever pick Oliver, he's, he's 281. Charlotte is gonna be probably like 280-ish. Kind of similar. Actually, she preferably we would have max accurate, max accurate. Okay, so she can't go 280. We're we're starting to actually hit the 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 depths of his runes. So this is something that happens. Like essentially, like if your team is more complex than this and you need to have more units tuned at the same speed, once you start hitting this point, you would realize like okay, I need to step everything back. Like you know, you would basically go back to the very beginning and start hanging like three speeds slower, and then redo this whole thing, like. And that's just knowing your own account. Like once you've done this a couple times, you know that you can't go a certain speed, right? Um, but for now, these these follow-ups are, are pretty safe to put at this kind of speed. So so let's say 275 on, let's say instead of, and she really needs additional. So we're gonna go 85 back minimum so that we don't have to put any accuracy on her. And she's starting to look a little sketch. Um, say 80, let's step it back just a little bit. Let's see if we can get any more efficiency on her. Because you don't always need to be max accuracy. You really don't. So here's 104. So actually, I think the problem now is our, we're actually, we are hard we are hard capped on our total rune efficiency at the speeds I was trying to hit. So we can step back even lower, 272, to hit these higher efficiency numbers. Efficient, the reason I like going by efficiency, by the way, is that unless you just have way too much resistance or crit rate or something, like it actually means that it translates directly into how much base stats you have to be multiplied by additional damage. So let's go with this 272 one. Um, for raw stats. Okay, go Charlotte. 
Uh, let's go back to the speed tune. Let's throw Charlotte in. She's right here. Again, she start, these are starting to get a little bit too slow. Okay, his other counter picks, uh, the other big one we're gonna use is gonna be Pater. Um, he added on speed crit rate HP. We don't need any attack. We really don't need accuracy. It's basically gonna be crit rate. Um, actually, let's let's try that. It, we'll say 270 speed. I want it on 100 crit so that it actually crits. So he can't go 270 at 100 crit right now. So we've, we've used up basically all of his runes. Um, but he also doesn't need to be that fast because of how he works. Let's see if we could step it back just a little bit. Okay, we can. He's a lot slower. He's a lot less thick. Let's try 35k minimum HP so that he kind of hits maximum efficiency. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of fine. It's, his crit damage isn't that good. It's it's fine. Well, we'll just try those. I just want him ruined so that we have, against like really heavy CC teams, like we need to have multiple counter picks ruined. So let's actually, uh, the other one that's gonna be big is for like counter cleaving is actually gonna be Josephine because Josephine also pairs super well with Hay Gang. Um, Luckily, it looks like he's kind of, he must have a really good crit damage rune. It's probably what we're, we're starting to see here. Is like say, so we want like 135. Actually, we don't need to put crit damage in. Um, we kind of want some accuracy though, like maybe 60 accuracy. I like Josephine's that actually can land stuff. So he didn't spend very much, uh, he didn't spend very much on his Josephine. So let's try it to like previously, he must not have been using it very much. But Josephine pairs are super good with Hay Gang. Um, I don't like this efficiency. Let's step it back a little bit. 265, we're kind of okay. 40,000 hit points. I want more HP than 32k. 108 efficiency approximately. The crit damage is a little low. The damage, let's say it's the damage up. So it's higher accuracy, higher HP higher damage, a little less tanky, probably fine. This one's also quite good. Um, this one hits pretty hard. Actually, let's do this one. I, th I think this one's really nice. So we have Josephine. So this is gonna be our core, honestly, this is basically our core build right here, this setup. Because we have our, we have our turn two counter picks if we really have to switch off of it, uh, or throw in a force ban, for instance. Um, but we also have our core speed draft, which is also nice. I think maybe we want, like, we could even potentially do Ganymede as another follow-up because he's, the one nice thing is he's high base speed. So like, if we wanted to fit a Ganymede in right, say, in the 280 slot, yeah, like 280. So it goes after Tomoe. So let's, let's try that. Ganymede in the 280. The, the main thing here is that if we put Gany in the 280, we can uh, push back with Tomoe and then he can either clean up whatever if we need it or he can just reset her immediately. Like I actually kind of like Gany that goes after your other units. So let's go Violent Will. He needs to be 280 but not any faster. And he kind of is okay with additionals. So let's give him mostly accuracy. He's, <laughs> we're, we're, again, we're starting to look a little, a little whack right here. But he's so fast, this might just work anyway. Nope, apparently not. Um, let's make it, let's see if we can slow him down just a little bit. <laughs> I don't like 104 efficiency. That's basically like bottom garbage tier. Oh, so yeah, if we back it up even slightly on speed, we actually can get a lot more efficiency. So let's do that. 83 act, 85 back here. Actually. This is so not tanky though. I'd rather him be tanky than not tanky. So let's go 30,000 base HP and then sort for efficiency. All right, unfortunately we're gonna have to go with one of these kind of lower efficiency builds for this, but yeah, we're gonna take this 275. 
That's fine. And then the last thing we're gonna pick is, or potentially pick just to have it ruined is we're gonna build the rat, the rat himself for Kuni. So it's gonna be a violent will. And this is just gonna be mostly like speed HP, HP or speed HP res potentially. Um, the, again, it's, it's the rat. He doesn't need to be special in any way. He doesn't even need to be, he preferably would want him on Nim actually. Um, probably should have set that to 100 res. I don't know if he has the 100 res he would need for this. 270 maybe? Okay, so we can go 270 on Violent Nim, 100 res. This is fine. Let's go here, 270, perfect. 102 efficiency as we like it. Okay, Violent Nim. And this is the entire build. So we're gonna we're gonna play, we're gonna build this and we're going to um, see how it works. So I'll get it ruined up and then we will do some games. All right, now it's time to test it out. We got it all ruined up. Uh, we're going to give it a try. Uh, we're still in placements technically, so some of these are gonna be probably fairly easy, <laughs> I would expect, but we're at least gonna get to see that it works. Um, draft order is we're going to be picking usually Heigang, uh, usually Heigang Chungpong, Escher as a flex, Tomoe later. It's actually very similar to um, a team I ran in a previous video. Uh, uh, so we got our we got our Tomoe stolen right off the bat. That's fun. That's fine. Um, we don't technically need it. We have one other speed lead in Oliver. He's going kind of a turn two strat. That's fine. Um, we have Zima. This will be kind of fun. Let's actually go Zima. Uh, we're gonna do. We're just gonna go with our core comp. I want him to pick more water so that we can draft Charlotte. Uh, this is fine. I don't really care too much about that. Um, Oliver is also kind of fine. He won't have the ability to... Okay, so we can either Charlotte. We can, like, for instance, we can ban... Um, we can ban Fire Monkey and then bring Charlotte and then just get a mass turn cycling on him. Uh, that's probably optimal. We could also bring Ganymede, but I think Charlotte's going to be better. Let's actually do that. So let's ban the fire monkey. Cause if we, as long as he gives us Hey Gang, Josephine doesn't do anything. Like Josephine, like after turn one, if he gives us Escher, it especially doesn't do anything. Um, oh, we get an HP lead, that's nice. So he's not gonna be able to cleanse himself. We're just gonna keep pushing him back. We're gonna bomb stuff like, um, like Riley for instance. Uh, we have lots of cycling. Oh, actually, you know what? That's mistuned. That shouldn't have done that. That's crazy. I need to go check that. I, I'm not sure why the tuning is weird. I, maybe I put the wrong unit on. Um, we'll see. Or we may, I may have put the wrong rune on. I, I'm not actually sure. Tomoe is the scariest one here. Um, let's actually bomb this. Double reds? Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Maybe I missed, uh, maybe I, I messed up a, a rune on uh, on Hey Gang. That's, that shouldn't be tuned that. In fact, this, to, this guy should be much slower, um, actually. Much slower. Uh, than the Hay Gang, which means I, I probably messed up a rune. So it's a good thing we're good thing we're trying this out. Okay, we go. Nice thing about Escher, by the way, is that this is that this is very very good. <laughs> Let's go for the sleep. We got it. So we get the pushbacks again. Nice. Stuns. We, this is the main thread is going to be this uh, Tomoe, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Ooh, we got the crit rate. We got the crit rate guy going. Um, let's actually get rid of Riley if we can. Okay, we actually hit it that time. Try to sleep this. Didn't get it. That's fine. Push it back. Just It just simplifies our life slightly if that doesn't get to do anything. Uh, man, Escher's so good.
very, very slightly. That's <laughs> all right. Oh, he, he got the proc right there. Okay, so let's check this real quick. Oh, I must have. Okay, yeah. So this should have been like 288. So I put the wrong rune on. Let's uh, take a look real quick. What did I not put on? Oh, it's on to five despair runes right now. That would also. So this should have been a. That's will. This should have also been will. Should have been this one. 288. Okay, that's why. Okay, fixed it. All right, fix that up. Yeah, I had I just didn't put one extra rune on, so he was missing about six speed, uh, which caused that untuning problem. Hopefully that will be fixed for this next one. And once again, hey gang, first pick. Um, the nice thing about this is that it's actually pretty fault tolerant speed-wise. Um, so you can run this team a lot slower and it should have very similar effect on, on like how the team actually works. Um, okay, so he's already, he's going turn two and that's fine. I don't really care too much. Juno, also fine. Let's actually just bring the core. So this is that, this is the uh, Tomoe, th this is the, uh, um, oh, what's his face? Um, man, I'm just like, I'm fried actually a little bit. <laughs> Uh, this is that Zima setup, so I don't even need to ban Juno here, although I may ban Juno, depending on what's left over here. Because, like, for instance, I wouldn't really want to go against a Veramos, but I can kind of... See, Grogan's not that crazy. We actually have a good number of stuns here. So let's go... Actually, let's go here, because I can ATB control uh, all of this stuff. Like, and and uh, Juno's actually not too good into uh, Escher. Uh into Escher Hay Gang, but um, this this might be interesting. Okay, so we do get boosted, that's nice. We get the strip, let's go. We got the strip, oh, that's really good. Oh, and then we proc, so he gets he gets some RNG, we get some RNG. Um, let's actually just kill this, and then we spread it. We didn't get stuns, which is kind of fine. Let's actually just try to stun this. We did, nice, GG. Good team. I mean, we're, we're fighting way below our weight right now, so it's not that crazy, but... Um, but yeah, the, the cool thing about Zima is you really don't have to fear Juno, and then Escher's really good into Juno as well, especially with Gang. So you don't really have that crazy a, a team setup, uh, or not team setup, but... Uh, you don't have that crazy... Um, like, you don't get just hard countered by... Like every every Juno you see, which is generally a problem with a lot of CC cleaves. Let's see if it decides or she decides to mix it up. So, okay, so that's kind of normal. We're gonna ban this again. I'm pretty fine going against the rest of his team. We're gonna do the exact same thing as last time. Okay, he wants to try it again. That's fine. I don't mind. She's trying to. Uh, She's trying to get me with the uh, the revenge more, but I think that's actually a swift more. <laughs> we procced again. I shouldn't have hit this actually. What am I doing? Let's see if we can get the Oliver. The Oliver is scaring me slightly. We're just gonna push everything back uh, because I need to get this onto the Juno anyway. Go for the stun here. And then this thing isn't gonna be able to heal, but I think I think we're gonna be able to outlast him either way. So I'm just gonna get rid of the Oliver. Because we're gonna be able to push the Gurkha and then and then bomb uh we're gonna be able to bomb the Gurkha and the Oliver was kind of uncontrolled, so we just throw this now. She's still armor broken, which is like super good. Um, because again, Escher just kills Escher's super good into Juno, surprisingly. So unfortunately, we're just stealing some C2 points at the moment. Not really what I wanted to be doing, but we have to get through placements. So 
Hopefully it's not the same person again, because I feel a little bit bad. We're we're doing we're doing the uh, the anime character uh, slaughterhouse today, just pure anime characters. Um, okay, so we, we have a speed team. I do have a Leo. Um, we're picking this. Where is Leo? Oh yeah, he's over here. So we, we have Leo, who's going to be kind of a four span. Uh, we're going to pick. Can we? Okay, so he's picking Leo. Looks like interesting. No, no, he's not picking Leo. Why would you do that? I'm going to pick Leo. Okay. He doesn't have a speed lead yet, so actually let's do this and let's do Leo. So I'm probably going to ban Vivachel. Or do I just ban this? Because I should go in front, right? Let's, let's just ban this. We have, he doesn't have a speed lead. I have a speed lead. If he decides not to ban Leo, most of this is kind of not that good. Okay, so it's it's like kind of fine, but it's kind of not. I don't know, it's weird. So he can do some stuff to this. Like he can, he can switch. Oh, actually, that's really cool. That is kind of cool, actually, now I think about it. Who do we push back? Can we push back? Um, who's up next? Oh, let's actually push the Viva. I'm fine with it. So the Viva Chell, so this being off Will is kind of a problem for him. He might still be able to kill me anyway, though, even with Leo. Okay, he didn't. He can boost, but it doesn't matter. We didn't get any stuns here, which is not great. Let's actually go here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay. So I, I miss I miss did this. I miss uh, I miss banned. So he has he has a pretty good strat against this. All right, GG. I should have just kill or I should have just banned. Um, what did I ban? Hold on. I think I misplayed that. So I banned more, but he gave me my more counter, and I had two kind of more, three almost more counters. So in reality, banning more was incorrect uh, because. He ended up giving me my more counter, or more, I keep saying more. He gave me two of my Douglas counters, so I didn't really need to, actually, I, I didn't even necessarily need to draft, or I didn't even need to ban Leo, actually, or pick Leo. I wonder what would happen if I just given him Leo. Huh. Okay, so we have more Chung Pong. So we don't get Chung Pong, unfortunately. Uh, but we can go, we still have two strips because of this. So we're gonna go to Moe and then, you know, I should maybe I should have counterpicked some of that stuff. Maybe I should have went uh, Tian Lang, actually. Okay, that thing's kind of gross, but it's fine. Do we just go TL or do we go Charlotte? Actually, let's go Charlotte. I think Charlotte works really well into this. I usually want to ban Veramos in this case because it does really well into Zima where Juno doesn't. Like, just remember that Veramos is still a counter pick to Heigang and to uh, this thing. Okay, so we're gonna be able to a lot's going to depend on how much will he's on. Because if I can bomb the uh, Vertihill right off the bat, we might... Okay, we're... It's actually on will, which is fine. Let's do this. Um, not a big fan of it, but... Oh, hold on. Let's actually go here, because I really want to spread the... Okay. I was going to say, I really want to spread the uh, the bomb, if possible. Nice. We kind of we kind of got a little bit owned there, but if we can kill the Juno, we should be fine. We have two turns to kill it before it starts to matter. Um, that's pretty good. Crit rate guy going out. Let's see if we can get stuns. We did. Very nice. Pretty normal. 
this is the probably the biggest problem if it gets going, so let's kill it first. Um, throw the bomb here, just in case it procs out. Okay, well, we're just kind of luck sacking him a little bit, but I mean, it was it was pretty much over, but we were also luck sacking a pretty decent bit, so. Such a nice team, such a nice team. Hmm. Got lucky that we didn't get, uh, we got pretty lucky that we didn't get revenged on the first turn by the Verd, but it's also on double revenge instead of triple, so not that crazy. Okay, not that bad. Standard first picks. Going Hey Gang Chung Pong. Probably gonna see a Raccoonie. Yeah, there it is. Uh, probably gonna see probably a speed lead. I would I wouldn't be surprised to see an Oliver here. Okay, so he is challenging for speed. So we go with our standard challenge setup. This kind of stuff. We can still pick Leo to be really annoying depending on what else he drafts. Um, I kind of like banning Sekhmet because it can race me speed, but we may be fine if I go. Okay, that's that's not that bad. So a hard counter for. Actually, I can ban Douglas because he probably. Actually, are we okay with doing that? Hold on. Okay, what if I ban Raccoonie and bring Josephine? Nah, I, I think this is fine. I'm actually going to do this. I think he's going to give it to me. He might ban it, but we can technically kill Douglas with Hay Gang. And if we get even slightly lucky spreading debuffs, we can kill it with Usher as well. Yeah, pretty normal. So what's what's interesting about this is that I would have outsped it. But the, the problem is I was kind of expecting a Tomoe ban just so Sekhmet could work. Cause like, that's the other thing he could have done was ban like say Escher and then expect Sekhmet to do all the work necessary. Um, let's actually do this. This is just gonna be like push. Okay, we basically got nothing, which is fun. Okay, he's got glancing, but it doesn't matter too much. He crits anyway. Very nice. So we just need it. I want to kill uh, Juno first. Hopefully we have enough attack to get this at least once. We didn't. That's fine. Um, okay, I think I may have maybe. Well, that, that was actually really nice, right? We're gonna have to bank on Hay Gang doing it, is the problem, um, unfortunately. Maybe I need to, maybe, maybe Tomoe wasn't appropriate here. Maybe I didn't need the speed lead. Maybe I should have brought a, a better counter unit. At least we have speed going. These, these brandings are really hurting though. No push, crit, push, anything? Okay, sad. He can boost himself, but I don't think it's gonna matter. We're gonna save, oh, I didn't need to save it actually, now I think about it. He's not gonna strip, he really can't. We, we are still kind of okay here. That stun on the Douglas is very, very good. I'm kind of fine with losing Chung Pung at this point. Because it's going to be the Hay Gang. Hay Gang is going to be the one who has to finish this anyway. Is the, the main takeaway here. Because I think Hay Gang can take Douglas by himself. Okay, so we're going to live one more round. With at least one more with, uh, with Escher. Okay. So it's going to be Hay Gang Douglas. Which is like kind of fine. I have a decent amount of attack, actually. As the fight goes on, you actually end up getting... Um... Ooh, that's rough. As the fight goes on, you actually end up getting a lot more attack, which is kind of funny. I'd... Like, hitting that glancing would have been super good. 
Ah, GG. So one thing I need to keep in mind is with picking this is that I need to not pick the Douglas so early, or not the Douglas, I need to not pick the Tomoe so early. Maybe I need to have one more water unit because I'm getting a lot of Douglases in here. So I could have actually, maybe Tian Lang would have been appropriate actually. I do think I'm missing at least one water counter pick. Maybe I should just been picking Camilla in those situations as like a last pick. I think that actually Camilla might work pretty good. Look, how fast is his Camilla already tuned? It's probably pretty slow. Okay, it is a little bit slow, but it might work anyway. Kind of low attack too. Okay, this is pretty typical kind of stuff. Okay, no one cares about that. I don't care about that. Oh, so there's that Douglas again. So I'm so whenever they go this, I think they're gonna give me Escher anyway. I keep forgetting also that I don't even need to pick um, so this, he's on Swift Verd, right? This is probably Swift Verd. But is it going to be faster than Escher? Escher is pretty fast. So we get him anyway, which is really nice. Wants to spin? Okay. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Okay, so we get this. So that basically that just means you can't cleanse. Man, the Escher, the Escher getting stunned is so uh, that's actually hilarious. Why would you do that? Okay, well. Okay, so we just need to get the bomb on this Oliver and we're pretty much golden. Yep. Yeah, he made a terrible misplay right there, actually. Okay. So we're ranked 11,000, C2 range. So yeah, definitely we need to rune up at least one water follow-up. Either Barbara, actually maybe Barbara would be really fun for this. Maybe I'll tune that up like real fast after this. Because like it even halfway speed Barbara is gonna be really really fun. Also, I'm, I think I'm overpicking Escher right now. Because um, against these people, like this guy, I don't need Escher, right? Like not even a little bit. In fact, right here would be a perfect place for a water follow up. Um, like this would be a perfect Teor placement. Actually, let's try the Tian Lang. I just want to see the Tian Lang's damage, just because it's fun. <laughs> and also we get more armor breaks out of it too, which is nice. And a little bit of ATB pushback, but it's not that crazy. Um, okay, we don't, do I care? Hold on. We have two counters to Abelia. Do I care? If I ban this, I think we're good actually to ban that. So he might ban Tian Lang because of the Josephine uh, Feng Yan. In which case, we get the exact combo we wanted anyway. I wonder if he bans Tian Lang. I feel like he he has three units that are basically countered by Tian Lang, so... Okay. So we're, we do, we actually, oh, actually, that's kind of bad. I picked Tomoe in front of this. So this is actually is mistuned. The ordering is wrong on those, which is like whatever. I have to pick uh, Zima before. Okay. All we can do is put the glancing down, unfortunately. Okay, he's gonna be able to reset here. That's kind of fine. We kind of messed ourselves up a little bit with this. Okay, so the I messed I messed myself up actually. The Tian Lang countered myself more than it countered him. That's funny.
Let's try to kill this. We, we might be fine anyway, though, as long as I can kill that guy. Because I think he I think he actually reset the wrong thing. Because we still have Chungpung skill 3. This thing's going to be tough, though. Not going to lie. How did I hit that? I need to, I need to focus up slightly. Use it. Use it. Okay. It's nice that it stopped him, at least. Is he going to use it anyway? I don't think he should. He needs to try to... Okay, that's weird. He needed to try to stun, I think. Uh, let's see if... Oh, man. All right, GG. Man, yeah, I, I messed myself up with that. I also... The, the, the misordered... Uh, uh, the misordered Zima. I really need to change the tuning. The problem is... is yeah, I have to pick Zima in front of Tomoe. Like, because they're tuned at the same speed if you have a 24 speed lead. Um, and unfortunately, I realized it too late. I've even put them in order such that I would remember, but I didn't, obviously. Because <laughs> what should have happened there is I should have done Zima and then spread it with Tomoe. But instead, because they're mistuned, it didn't work. So let's try this, the, the trio. I, we still need to tune up that water unit. Okay, who cares about all that? Um, okay, so we're just gonna pick two counters to this, to Beelzebub. And then this thing is kind of annoying, but we right now we don't need to ban this. We don't need to ban Beelzebub. Um, and we don't need to ban uh, Shizuka. Tomoe will be kind of a problem, but maybe not a big enough problem for us to care about. Like, picking Tomoe into this would have been silly. So he's going to potentially give us both wind units. Okay, he didn't. That's nice. Okay, so we get this, which would be fine. We get to bomb. We, the main thing is we need to try to get rid of uh, Beelzebub early. The problem is, is we're going to kind of need to reset... Um, we kind of need to reset uh, Vanessa, and I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. Hopefully this just kills her or this thing. Okay. Let's try to get rid of it a second time. And then we control this. This is going to be the biggest problem. I just need it to not do stuff. We're, he's going to get a big ol' heal out of the Seime, which is like kind of fine. So if we can kill Shizuka before that heals, I don't know if we're going to be able to though. Okay, maybe we will. Oh, he's back. That sucks. We didn't reset it. That's too bad. That's really annoying. Nice additional. Okay, I thought I had reset it, so that's too bad. I guess it resisted or something. Oh, now the Shizuka is going to proc, and then he's going to third skill us bombs back or something. Okay, never mind. He just had it already. Okay, cool. This is not going well, as is pretty relevant. All right, GG. <laughs> oh, all, all because, all because we failed. Oh, man. All because we failed the reset. Um, could I have banned? Man, that's unfortunate. That missed reset was just too good. Although, I didn't even consider the fact that whenever they bring back the Beelzebub, it actually resets its own cooldown, so you can basically make it uh, like always have its passive. So That's a kind of cool interaction. All right, let's... Oh, other way. Have to draft it in this order. Okay. 
Okay, whatever. Um, I think we actually ban... I actually think we ban this thing and then control all this with Charlotte. Or ban this and control it all with Charlotte. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, this will be this will be pretty good. So he's going to actually outspeed us and get to do at least one unit. Um, or he's going to get to potentially stun at least one unit. But he probably goes for Charlotte for the strip. Because uh, basically to mistune us. Um, that's probably going to be the primary reason. Uh, like, for instance, he can mistune it. He's probably hit uh, Chungpung or he hits Tamoe. I don't know. It's going to be weird. He's definitely not hitting Heigang. All right, this guy is a wild man. Okay, I messed up. Is that on Nemesis? How is this mistuned so badly? Huh. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna try to stun this, but I'm not sure it's gonna work. Okay, I didn't. So this thing being mistuned by a few speed is actually not working very well in our favor. Man. Okay, he doesn't have it. Okay, he he decided to be that guy. Okay. Man, that's wild. Let's see if we can get this done. Okay, so that's actually super nice. Yeah. Kills Hei Gang, yeah. Okay. Just trying to get this done. This actually gets that actually works kind of well because it gets some of the buffs off, but stuns maybe. Slow. That's super nice. He's glanced. If he stuns here, he's sacking. He didn't actually even go for the right unit though in this case. Um, because he couldn't stun with that. I'm not sure why he went after a one unit. Put all the stuns where they need to go. Go for the stun again. Didn't get it. Very low violent game in this game. Alright, finally got a violent. So did he. Nice. GG. Do I make a water unit? One second. Okay, just for funsies, we ruined up a barber to play with. Just because we're just messing around. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get in there. I gotta start climbing. Oh my god. We're definitely... We're, we're having some misbands. I should probably honestly be leaning more into the sort of counterpick team kind of thing that he has. Like picking the core two and then like picking two follow-ups, but I'm kind of liking just playing combo, like his combo is, you know, sort of what I do in general. Um, so. Kinky first pick, real weird. I don't know why anyone does that. Honestly, this guy could probably be on despair. Honestly, I think this Tamoe could be on despair as well. I don't think she needs to be violent. I like violent Tamoe, but... Okay, so are we gonna see a Viva? Viva Chell, Lucifer kind of a setup. I feel like picking Leo this early is a little weird. Okay, we don't need Luce, we don't need uh, Escher yet, but we're gonna set up with a speed lead. Uh, specifically, like if he picks Viva Chell, we might need to go Escher here. Because he's already, okay, so he's doing Verd. I don't really care about Verd. Like, as in right now, the okay, so he did go Viva Chell. So we're just gonna ban Leo, uh, and that'll be pretty normal. And then we just go Barbara. Who's way over here. Because the main thing is I don't really care too much um, about his current setup because like even if he goes first, it's not really that scary. Um, like what's he gonna do? Just like take a turn or two? Like Like if he goes first, he can't he can't uh, switch team or not switch teams. Uh, so let's go here. That's pretty typical. 
We're just going to do the, the full reset already. Why don't we just bop this out of existence? Yep, easy peasy. See, Barbara's already doing the work. We are going to try to stun this though. Okay, we did. Nice. GG. Fine, Barbara's so cool. Every time I play Barbara, I'm pretty happy about it because she just did. She just does what you need her to do. <laughs> Okay, Angyoki, kind of scary. Pretty good into our team though, not gonna lie. Um, this actually shuts this down though. This um, this remove all inability effects, that should be countered by uh, Zima. The only problem with it is that, so you can stun him for an extra turn, but it's like, you, don't, you still can't kill him while he's stunned. So you kind of need a dot somewhere. But right now he's not even picking anything super interesting. Let's try Barbara again, actually. Cause I think Barbara is really good in this, in this setup. Cause the only thing that's hard for her to kill in this current team is gonna be the Riley. Um, and so we can actually right now, because we're probably getting Hay Gang, uh, we can probably ban on Gyoki. My, my guess is, is we actually lose Barbara, but Okay, so Abelio, so actually though, no, that means we're, we're losing Chungpong. It means we're losing Chungpong, which is actually kind of fine. Uh, I'm gonna try to kill Abelio on the first turn. Because if I can spread, if I especially if I spread the, uh, the cleanse block to him via whatever means, I, you know, like if I manage to land it with Tomoe or if I manage to land it with Zima, we actually just get to kill him on the first turn. Um, and that's fine by me. Okay, that's pretty normal. Please get, please get the Abelio. We did get the Abelio, very, very good. So we're actually going to spread, we're actually gonna put the bomb on the water dude. Oh, well, we didn't get it. That's nice, we get this, we did. That's an insane additional. Oh, luckily, luckily for us, this comes in handy. So we actually get to go here and try him again. That's fine. Let's see if we can get this. We didn't try him, try a stun, anything. Okay, we're not landing much. He resisted again. That's too bad. Maybe I should have bombed him. Oh, he is wild then. Of course, we, we got pretty good violence too, but um, at least these are messed up for a couple turns. Can we stun him again? Come on. Thank you. Let's try to push this back. Um, I really want this to be stunned. Go for the slow, okay. So now I'm just gonna try to spread the bomb to everybody. Hopefully it works. We didn't get it. Um, let's actually glance all this. Didn't get the stun here. Unfortunate, still kind of okay. He, he's probably looking at, yeah, well, yeah, okay, good. He was, I'm, I was like, okay. <laughs> the Abelio is wild. Watch out for Abelio, it's not gonna lie. Does he proc also? Okay, nice. Good counter. Stun it, yes, good. Get the cleanse block again. Okay, we really need to kill the Abelio. Get the sun, yeah. Be, just in case this procs, we're gonna put the bomb on. Yeah, like, exactly like that. Sun, no. Put the bomb, move the bomb over to, to Riley, perfect. 
See, even with all that RNG, Barbara just does it. So I actually made the Barbara a little tankier than I probably needed to, um, specifically so that it would do a little bit better into that kind of shenanigans. Like you can make it glass cannon and then it will kill stuff more, more reliably, but then you're also less like RNG tolerant. It just depends where you want to put your, depends where you want to put your, um, your RNG. Like, do you want it to be front loaded based on you like stripping or do you want it to be like, um, you know, if they proc, like on turn two, etc. Of course, they always proc, so maybe I should have went class cannon, but that's beside the point. Okay, so Vanessa uh, is looking like kind of fast. Okay, this is pretty typical stuff, Vanessa Cigar. So, so hilariously, this works really well into Julianne, like uh, having the cleanse block. So we're probably gonna have to go Escher here. Um, I wanna see how fast he's going. So actually, now we're gonna go Barber now. Gonna go Barber now, and then we're probably gonna ban Vanessa, yeah? It's Cause he probably thinks it's gonna be Swift, so he probably bans Barbara, and so we just need to go faster than him. And then we're gonna leverage the, uh, uh, we're gonna leverage uh, Zima into this other stuff. Cause he doesn't know that my Barbara is not Swift, so he'll probably think, he'll probably ban it, is my guess. In which case we'll be faster than all this. But he also might ban Zima. Okay, there it is. So he did ban the Zima. That's fine. Um, hopefully we get a glancing on the, okay, so we, we do get the uh, Barbara in. So we're gonna be able to kill uh, Douglas turn one, probably. Nice, so we glance that, that's fine. So we're actually gonna push all this. That's also fine. He gets the counter, gross. Um, let's actually go here. We're gonna push this across. Hopefully we get Douglas, but we might not, okay. That's actually fine. I'm specifically going here because I wanna kill that, you yep. know. Let's get this here. So we have to deal with the Julianne now. We can't really do too much to it other than continue to push it. So I'm not gonna hit it with anything except for the pushbacks because it's probably on Nemesis. Um, but we just need to get most of his team kind of dead by the time that it gets out and starts doing stuff. Oh, and we get to push again. So never mind. He just gets CC to death. Nice. Oh, we actually biffed it. Okay, but he's all this stuff's close enough to dead that it doesn't matter. He dies this next turn. Okay, well, I mean, he's still going to cause some havoc, but yeah. Okay, he gets to do things. Oh, he, <laughs> he's gonna lose zero, exactly zero hit points. <laughs> and there's Cigar turning to look at us. All right, Barbara. See, having a good water follow-up is huge when you're running this double fire comp. And as I said, Escher, you don't really need all the time. It's mostly there whenever people are using true CC cleave on you. So like you're looking at like the more Chung Pung kind of stuff. Nice thing about first picking Hei Gang is you're not gonna, ooh, okay. So we are, we're actually gonna be doing Leo Tian Lying on this guy. So we're gonna do this and we're going to go, actually let's pick TL early so that he knows he has problems. Okay, and then we're gonna go Leo so he knows he has problems again. And then we can go Pater actually, or we could go, um, we could even go like Gyo, probably not Gyo actually. Let's actually go, um, actually let's try Pater out. So we're just gonna go full turn two shenanigans. Okay, we just ban that, it's fine. Not much good speed leads here, huh? Let's just go, I guess, win speed lead. Because his, his kind of ban is going to be like Tian Lang, sort of. He can't really boost with Escher, which is fine. I mean, he can, but like, well, okay. Oh, I guess he can still, can't he? Okay. We actually get this. I probably should have waited on that, actually. That's super funny, though. Okay. Pretty... Tianling's OP. 
Getting that pushback was really nice. Or did I even get the pushback? Actually, he he stunned with the Sekhmet. So that was like a, that's someone copying Akog's build, actually. I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about it. That's the, that's the Akog build, so. The, the despair, the despair Sekhmet worked very badly against him <laughs> in that case. Okay, so we got this. That's like whatever. Uh, so we can actually Tian Lang this too. So um, let's pick Tian Lang just to be like a little scary. Hey Gang's not that bad, but this is a Swift Verd. So like if he bans the Hey Gang, we actually get, uh, we get screwed a little bit. Like not not a ton, but it's, it's not perfect. So we can actually go Escher if we want more. Oh, let's see. Honestly, an Antares would be fantastic right here. If we ban this thing. If we go Escher and then ban this, we're pretty okay, right? Okay, so he bans the Hay Gang, which is like a little odd. So he actually has a lot of ATB gain. Like all four units on his team do ATB gain and we have Tian Lang. <laughs> so, I mean, he might just stun Tian Lang though. So that's the thing is when you have a speed lead and Verd, but we're gonna go first, which is gonna be very kind of funny. Um, Cause like we should be able to just reset this thing, right? We don't have Hay Gang, which is really annoying, but. And then we just put this on everybody. Oh, we didn't get the stun. Oh, so it's actually a, it's actually a Triple Revenge Verd, which is kind of wild. He boosts, he only gets 50% though. Okay, and then he's gonna boost Tanling again, which is super funny. If I proc here, he's dead, right? Okay. Unfortunately, he gets that. We, did we reset it though? No, we didn't. Sad. Does he get the? Does he get her? No. Nice additionals. So Tian Lang's still working though, at least. We theoretically are kind of do a proc. I probably should have tried to stun the bird, but. It's Probably fine. Okay, unfortunate. This is pretty nice. That's what needs to die. If this dies, I think we just win, but... Okay. Efficiency.com. You got a little lucky with that robot stun order, but it's like, I mean, that's just, that's how Robo is, you know? At least he didn't get Tomoe as Tiki. Okay. I'm not too scared of those. Like, heavy water is looking, like this forces him into fire, kind of, this sort of setup. Okay, is that triple revenge? I think it is. Or double rev will. Okay, so he's going fast. Let's actually, let's challenge for speed, although I don't think it matters. Actually, I didn't need to challenge for speed here. I really didn't. Okay, so Pater's gonna gross. We're actually gonna likely ban Pater. Okay, that's fine. And then we're, um, we're just gonna do this. So this will be our normal kind of a thing, because if he gives us that, if he gives us Zima, he can't re he can't cleanse with this, and we it's an implicit counter to both of these. We could have also went Barbara though, technically. Um, we're mistuned again. Oh, uh, hold on, we don't have Tian Lang, so I can do the skill two, um, to Moe. How many things is he gonna be on Will though? Let's actually just go here. That's really unfortunate. 
Hi, yeah, yeah. Let's actually go here. Let's give him the bomb. Okay. Stun hero, we're dead. Okay. Well, hold on. Okay, we're dead. All right. Once again, I. I'm not even gonna play it out. I I keep picking, <laughs> I keep picking Tomoe in front of uh. In front of Zima, and it doesn't work. Like Zima has to be picked in front of Tomoe, and I keep forgetting. Like if I accidentally pick Tomoe, I should actually just not even use that strategy because it just doesn't work as good. I just keep doing it. It's like I it's like I demand to pick the speed leader early. Actually, maybe that just means I do need to slow her down by one speed. That might be the easiest way to do it. It's just to like remove one speed off of her. In fact, I may do that while we're doing this. So if she were one speed slower, so she needs to be 284, then this would never happen. And she could be even be a couple speeds slower, technically. Okay. Ragdoll's not that crazy. Like this. Do we care about Rag? What if I go Barbara and ban Leo? Let's actually go let's actually go Zima instead of Tomoe. And then we're probably gonna ban Rag, maybe. Okay, Verd's not that crazy. Um We're pretty low crit rate. I actually kind of would rather ban Rag. This is, you know, actually let's ban this, let's ban this. So we get Hagang into the into the Verd, uh, but we have like a traditional like ATB reduction kind of a team, but we have to do it all with, um, we just have to not crit with Hagang actually. <laughs> yeah, so he's like super slow. So this isn't even that big a problem. We actually go here. That's that's unfortunate though, right there. That was really not great. Okay, that works a lot better. That was a that was a very clutch stun. Let's try to get slows on. Nice. This is what we need to kill right here. If we can kill Shizuka, we just win. That's unfortunate. Push. Push. Nice. And then let's take care of this. I actually don't really care too much if this gets healed. Nice, that was picture perfect. All right. I'm glad we didn't get ragdolled. Yeah, so sometimes those guys who pick like Raglio are just so slow that even if you count the fact that they're gonna gain ATB from ragdoll, they're actually, it's better to ban Leo than the rag, which is silly. So they, they're like kind of messing with you. That's why they pick the Leo early. It's because they're just so slow. It's like they want you to they want you to leave Leo and then like get countered by the other stuff. Okay, so we got this. Is this a Swiftford? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do the normal team. I'm gonna pick Escher just in case it's a Swift Bird. Like if it's not Swift, then it's not really that big a problem. Um, that's not that scary. But we could actually ban uh, here. We can ban Bird and then bring something like Charlotte potentially. Or uh, this might also be a Barber game. Like we could bring Barber here. She's not on Will, which kind of messes us up with regards to that. Uh, uh, more though. So a lot's gonna depend what this last pick is. If it's another fire unit, let's bring Barbara. It's not. So this guy's susceptible to a pure fire team, so we're actually gonna go to Moe. And then we're gonna ban, uh, we're gonna ban more. What we're hoping to do is get a, um, okay, this is fine too, actually. What I was, what I was saying is, is that, like, we're, we need to make it threatening enough that, like, we get Hagang to mess up the, uh, the Verta Hill. 
Uh, and then we just use Tomoe slash, like basically we have full ATB pushbacks, we just have to control the uh, the Verge somehow. So th that's where the this comes in, because we need to get Glancing. So we're just gonna push everything back. Um, let's actually go here. That's a double crit through Glance, which is sad. Let's see if he gets another double crit. If he gets one, I think we still outspeed him with the Swift. He gets another crit. So it's actually four crits, nice. I'm very happy about that, uh, not gonna lie. Uh, so he got four crits through glancing, so that chance is right around 6%. So not the best. Let's keep pushing this. We're gonna try bombing it. Actually, let's go ahead and strip. Okay, well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and bomb this because I don't want him to get glance, or I don't want him to get immunity up again. Okay, finally he gets some glancing. So we're actually gonna push this. Basically, I'm just making it so he can't heal this. Push here, nice, perfect. Push here, yeah. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, unfortunately we're gonna have to go in straight up into this bird who does get the double crit. But the big threat is this thing right here. So like as long as we can, okay. If we can kill this, we're basically golden. So hopefully. <laughs> the Verd is perfect. The Verd is a perfect and divine unit, but luckily that is his only damage now and it is on double glancing. So let's try to kill this because it has missing, ar it has armor break. Okay, got it. So no more immunity. Man, this is the perfect Verd. <laughs> Usually, Hey Gang does not allow that sort of shenanigans, but in this case, it did. So we just we bomb him. Have a poisoned apple, my friend. And then we do this. So what's cool about this is now he can't even strip it off, but we're just going to control Rakuni from this point forward. We just basically keep clicking him. This is one of the reasons why Escher is so nice is because just even though it's only a little bit of healing, like whenever you start turn cycling them, it's a lot of healing, you know? And then we bomb them again. Look at this. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Bombers in 2023. But yeah, you'll notice like our base speed, the fact that we're tuned so fast almost doesn't matter because a lot of times whenever it actually would have mattered, it, we're, we're really tuned based around Escher's speed. Uh, more so than our, our actual base speed unit or base units. Like there's a good chance if I made this slower that we would actually have a better time. So I'm actually going to go Escher early because we don't have Chung Fung. Um, and then we're going to go, we can go Oliver here if we want to be scary. And then like we need a full ATB pushback. Uh, let's actually do this and then let's go, let's actually go Charlotte. I was I kind of I was kind of looking at Oliver here, but I think Oliver's not going to work that well for us. Okay, so we get a full ATB pushback, HP lead, Hey Gang, etc. We don't have resets. That's going to be a big big deal. Is that we do not have resets. Um, so we're going to have to snipe something out early. The one the one nice thing is we are going to be able to control almost everything because, like for instance, we're going to have glancing on. Uh, We're gonna have glancing on the uh, bison. Okay, that's rough. How did we not hit anything? So let's try to get this because I don't want to get stunned because we don't have control, as I said. Um, let's actually go here. We're gonna push here. Okay, that's that's really nice. Um, let's try to sleep this. Although he is he is bombed, so it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, so you are you are glanced. Let's see if he. Okay, he gets it. That's nice. Uh, okay, so we're hopefully we can kill the Praha. The bomb hopefully kills the Prox. Tragic. Prox, nice. Okay, so I think we're dead just based on that set of Prox. So maybe I should have brought Oliver instead of, uh, maybe I should have brought Oliver. Okay, GG.
Um, yeah, so potentially I should have brought Oliver. Also, uh, if you think about it, I didn't really need to bring Escher there. Like Escher was also a mispick because we didn't end up actually racing him for speed. Like we, we would have naturally went faster than him. And even if he went before us, uh, it probably would have been fine. So, so Escher was actually also a, a fail pick on my part. So here we are going to have to race him. So let's just show the speed. Like I may actually have like a weird Barbara pick here in a second. Uh, specifically to make it look like I'm bringing another Swift in it. Okay, so he's going slow instead. So let's actually go here and let's go, um, let's go to Moe actually. So we have two strips and we have two pushbacks. We ban that, that's fine, I don't care. Ooh, actually, hold on. Do I, do I ban this? Does he give me Escher? I think he bans Escher. So, so here's going to be the weird thing, right? Is that if I, if I ban, if, if he bans Escher, actually, you know what? I'm going to ban Leo. I'm going to ban Leo. Okay. So I should have banned, uh, I should have banned Douglas actually. I think it's going to be really hard for me to kill Douglas. The, the double speed lead was actually incorrect. Like all over er, that early wasn't that good. I should have just went to Moe. It's not over, but it's going to be rough. So he gets to boost now. That's fine. We reset this. So, so honestly, it's going to be a Ken Douglas kill us game. I think we're going to die to Douglas, though. Lucky crit? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unfortunate. All right, GG. That's a Douglas. So I should have banned Douglas. Uh, Hagging might have been able to do it, but th again, that was that was a once again I picked slightly too fast. Like this is the probably the hardest part about this team is that unless you have specific LD fives, aka Maxi or Nep or Nepthes, you have to be super careful about when you pick your speed leads, because like right there I picked double wind and I no longer had the ability to kill a Douglas, and you kind of need the ability to kill a Douglas. Like here I'm not gonna pick. Okay, let's just try to not draft Escher unless absolutely necessary. Because I would much rather have a Barbara that looks like a Swift unit than an Escher in probably like 80% of these games. Because like I need two units that can kill Douglas. So Barbara can do it. And okay, so now he's actually going fast. So we're gonna we're gonna speed up slightly. Okay, so he's banning Escher 100 percent So we're actually gonna do this. Uh okay. So it's just gonna be are we faster than him? Yeah, if we're faster, we win. If we're not, we have a tough time. But I mean, he has to tune two units at 330 something. So Ethna should be able to be, but Sony is a little bit harder to tune that fast. Yeah, see, here we go. Easy. So the one downside is that we have to... Um... Okay, so that's, we're gonna stop that. Okay, gets this. Man, man, that fail, of course. Maybe I should have just reset all this. I should have, man, I misplayed that so bad. Oh, that's kind of nice. So we're gonna potentially get to kill Ethna here. Ah, that's too bad. We're still alive. That's nice. Unfortunately, the bomb's not going to kill this, most likely. Good procs, dude. But he can glance it. Okay, he did. Yeah, GG. I should have just reset them, turn one. 
That's too bad. Huh. Yeah, Sonya, Sonya is, with a Hay Gang strip is actually kind of rough. Because you're almost guaranteed to glance. So you actually have to pray for, like, a despair. Huh, that's interesting. So Sonya is kind of a counter to the Hay Gang first pick. Okay, not that scary. I don't like Camilla here. Actually, let's go early Barbara. I'm kind of curious what he'll how he'll respond to that. Does he like? Does he pick more? Okay, so he's going fast stuff. So we're actually going to go Leo, and then we're going to go Asher. Because we're on double water, so we can we can ignore the Sonia. We do have to ban his speed lead though. Like if he bans Leo, and then he has. Um, okay, so he goes Cigar. That's interesting. Do I need to care, though? I mean, it, it kind of nerfs this. Camilla's not that good. So let's go attack lead to make uh, Leo better. So it's, it's going to come down to how good is Camilla versus Leo. I think it's fine when you're going at Leo speed. Okay, so he gets the sec bet, which is, but at least it's glanced, right? Uh oh, I messed that up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I, I got glancing here. Not that it matters. Let's finish that off. Let's push this, maybe get a stun. Is he going to reset? Does he reset Escher? I think he just tries to kill Escher. Oh, he got, that's actually hilarious. He didn't manage to strip. That's funny. Okay, so maybe we need to just get rid of this. Okay, that's unfortunate. He can reset again. Oh, no, he can't. Okay, I thought, I thought it was, so I guess he successfully stripped. Yeah, it's going to come down to a Leo versus Camilla, so it's going to be like a little odd, but maybe not that crazy. Let's see if we can get a glancing on Camilla. We did, but we get the reset as well. Okay. See, I didn't even ruin his Leo. I have no idea how it's built. <laughs> Apparently it's built good enough. Try hard Bruno. Hmm. Let's go with the same thing. Okay, so this is this is him racing us. So we're gonna do the, the thing we did before. We have to last pick Tomoe against a Chiwu. Chiwu into Hagang is very odd, but I want to take the Escher because now with Tomoe we basically get to outspeed him. Um, because if Chiwu Chiwu is already countered by Hagang. Like straight up. So if we can also outspeed him via whatever means we feel like doing, aka Tomoe, we can pick Oliver, whichever speed lead we feel like bringing here. Uh, his best bet is to bring like a 33. Okay, so he's going to do that. That's not even that scary. So actually here we can go Oliver or we can go... Tomoe is fine. He hasn't brought a 33 yet. He has two... Let's actually bring Oliver and let's bring... Charlotte. Charlotte looks really good here. Problem is, is if this is a Douglas, we have to ban it, but it actually doesn't matter because I can ban whatever this last pick is and we should be fine either way. Because his strip is, yeah, yeah like we just ban it, it's fine. Because we have a 33, we have Escher. If, for whatever reason, like this thing, like Robo can kind of counter Hey Gang, but it's kind of random. It's random if it works. Um, and also, I kind of expect Chiwu to be faster than Robo anyway. So, but maybe he boosts 
Robo. He doesn't need to. Oh, yeah, so the Chibu does go first. Uh oh, that's rough. Luckily, he did miss. Okay, so we're actually going to do this just because it means we're going to have to deal with Robo for a while. So he is going to hit us with this. That's actually kind of fine. Um, but it's not that bad. We both basically don't want the Robo to go. Because the rest of this isn't that scary. Oh, that, that's kind of... Chibu hits kind of hard, not going to lie. Does he boost? Uh, okay, he did, didn't. This is a swift Robo. Okay, so now he's going to boost Nephthys, and then maybe she gets to skill 2 us again. Or skill 3, rather. Oh, apparently we got the reset on it twice. That's pretty nice. Trying to kill it with additionals. Ah, no. So he is going to get to skill 3 again, which is kind of annoying. Oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. My mistake. Okay, that's super nice. Okay, so he does get to stun us again, but it's like whatever. He really can't skill 3 here. I mean, actually he can, but why would you? Okay. <laughs> he realized he messed up. <laughs> All right, well, just got to power through that Nephthys. Aw, look at that sun. I'm going to have to ask for Ross to get us a... Uh, Get us an LD5. We need a Maximilian. This team with Maximilian's insane. This team with Nephthys is pretty good. Much better. The key is that Tomoe is like really, you have to be kind of careful drafting her, where like Maxi or Nephthys, you can kind of put in anything. But it's still fine. I think the biggest mistake I'm making right now is that I'm not really counterpicking very much. So here we can go Barbara and we can go like Charlotte. Like we don't, like another thing is I think I'm overdrafting to Moe whenever I have Charlotte available because mostly I want her for the ATB pushback. And the, the Charlotte also handles it just fine. So like I don't really need to Moe necessarily. Like to Moe is more into like the Juno, uh, like the Juno heavy fire pick people. Get that HP lead, nice. We have double wind. So the thing that's gonna kill us is gonna be the Verd. If the Verd gets out of control, we have problems. But luckily we have Heigang, so Heigang mostly does it. Okay, he probably pushes Charlotte is my guess. Yeah. Let's try to get the stun. I'm just going. Okay, so that's actually kind of nice. We get the, we get the, the Oh, that's crazy, actually. We actually got the cooldown on that. That's super good. Oh, and the double glance. Oh, my. Let's push this just to make sure. We get to Charlotte him now. That's pretty good. <laughs> See, it's, it's working this time. Glancing does work on occasion. Um, let's actually stun this so that it doesn't... Oh, never mind. Okay. So the cool thing is that the Rakuni gives us so much ATB just by existing that it's, like, a little bit ridiculous. Crit rate, go. Oh. You're still glanced, buddy. 
<laughs> okay, for that one, we get we get that back. That's coming back to to say I that we're lucking out so hard. Let's actually get rid of that. Or okay, I knew that was gonna happen, but it's fine. Okay, so he is proccing a lot. That's fine. We lucked out a bit there. Let's try to get the stun again. Okay, pretty normal. Um, let's go here. He didn't proc out of it this time, so this is actually a thing we can do, and then we're gonna do this. Downside, this guy is not... He's not glanced anymore. So his turn cycling is quite good. Oof, spicy. Try to get the glancing. We didn't. It's fine. Well, that's going to depend on this miles now. We get the glancing back on. Kill. Nice. Crit rate. Crit rate. Zima is wildin. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't kill. Oh, that was so close. Nice. Miles Rakuni lads are crazy. Good old Keen. Keen Star. All right, so heavy turn two right off the bat. This is going to be a Chungpung game, probably. I'm going to probably draft Zima early. This is probably going to be like a Miles. Okay, it's Laura. That's Laura is not good into Heigang, so that actually is pretty good that he didn't pick that. Or at least it's good for him, not good for me. It would have been awesome if it <laughs> if he had done it, you know. But okay, so he's letting us know early that he's degenerate. So we're going to bring the Barbara, and we're also going to bring. Um, let's bring this. And then I kind of want to ban this, actually. I kind of want to ban Bulver, because everything else is pretty susceptible. But, 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 this thing, if he bans Barbara, yeah, yeah is going to be just the, the scariest, right? And then we end up with, like, a, a Chungpung setup whenever we really don't want one. So this is just going to be, we need to bomb everybody. Just bomb every person in here. Okay. We put this here and then we spread it. That's wild. We need to push this. The reason we need to push that, I, I need to get the uh, cleanse block on it before it moves. So we have to like push it back a little bit. Cause like we need this thing to not, uh, Oh, see, this is wild. Look at this. Oh. Look at this team sometimes. Then we just put bombs everywhere else again. We go back. Get the kill. Juno just doesn't get to do anything. Nice. Picture perfect. A little bit lucky on the Bulwark stun, but... Everyone gets a little bit lucky, so. All right, same guy. So let's see if he does the same thing. So I feel like his bulwark was kind of premature. Okay, so he goes Douglas early. That's kind of fine. Let's go Barbara early to like sort of challenge him. He goes Laura, which means he probably wants to ban... Uh, so we, we have two counters to Douglas already. We're going to pick Escher here because it, it implies Laura is going to go first. 
Uh, Barbara's not very good in this current setup because of... Um... Actually, no, this will be fine. The, the issue is that she's not on Will, so if he bans, like, say, Escher, and then Laura goes first, she actually ends up moving last. But she moves last anyway in this team, so... So we have two counters to Douglas, as mentioned. He, he looks, it looks to me like a Barbara ban. Like, he's picking more stuff that's weak to Barbara. It looks like a Barbara ban. Both of these are weak to Haygang, so we don't need to ban any of that. This is also kind of whatever. Um, so he just picked something that's strong to Barbara. So we actually I'll probably go here, right? So we could actually ban this or we can ban that. I kind of want to ban more. Oh, no, he, he went ahead with the, the weak to Barbara strat. So this is going to be one of those games where I kind of have to leave. I kind of have to bomb Douglas into Oblivion like while we're killing everything else. So basically I get to I get to do one knockback with Chung Fung at the beginning. And then I kind of have to like leave the rest of them alone. Um, let's actually spread this. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. And then we have to pray that we, oh no, I messed up. I messed up. I didn't think she would cut right there, but she did. So It's kind of okay, but it's not great. We're gonna have to we're we're gonna get to kill Laura. We have to stun this. He where does she reset? I mean the problem is if this dies, we kinda lose. So he's gonna go for it. Yeah. Okay, I messed up. I should have just spread that right off the bat instead of trying to I, I was kinda greedy. We're not dead yet, because again, Hey Gang can kinda do it, but Like, hey gang Tomoe has a chance. Okay. I know I should have went for that. It's fine, though. Nice. That's really good on his part. The attack buff is, is wild. We just have to pray. Okay. Didn't get it. Should go hey gang yeah okay gg yeah that was my fault i uh i thought i wouldn't get cut with the tomoe and i went for it and it didn't work so i also could have just banned douglas though i uh i thought with that last pick he wasn't going to ban barbara because why would you bring another wind unit if you're going to ban barbara but unfortunately he did and we paid the price same guy okay let's let's mind games let's see it but also, I probably should, okay, he brings, he takes the Tomoe, it's weird. Why? I don't care. I really don't. Cause like Tomoe is like fine, but we can do a lot of weird stuff. Like we can go weird counter picks too. Does he, does he want to combo me? Do we, ooh, maybe this is a good chance to try out our, our counter pick setup. Okay, he's just timing out. Never mind. Maybe he doesn't know what he wants to do. Okay, so he did go Douglas. That's fine. Um, let's just go full counter pick. Okay, so so Josephine is a straight up 100% Douglas counter. Like basically impossible not to counter Douglas counter. Okay, so we go Pater and then we go one more. Well, this is the full counter counter pick setup. We probably still have to ban Douglas, though. Um, yeah, because I, I kind of felt like that Josephine pick was coming. Okay, do we have HP? We go attack lead. Crit rate lead, let's see it. Okay, so he doesn't have... I don't know what he does here. Pater is just so good into this. Maybe if these two are both swift tuned... Maybe he manages it, but because we did sort of counter our own setup, but we oh we got the pater. 
<laughs> we got Pater and Tian Lang. Oof. That's kind of funny. He didn't even strip that. Nice. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. It's so much easier when you just pick all your degenerate stuff. Alright, first pick Hay Gang. Okay, he's going Miles Rakuni. That's not terrible. Let's go with the standard setup. Again, I really, I honestly would rather pick Tomoe here, but I don't know, maybe this is just like a discipline thing. Cause I, I do think in a lot of cases, the uh, Zima is gonna be a better, you picking it before Tomoe, cause Tomoe can be countered by more annoying stuff. Okay, so he decides instead of going slow to go fast. So he's kind of setting up. So let's actually go, we're, we're just gonna race him for speed and we're probably gonna ban Sekhmet. Um, because he has two ways to sort of mess up our speed tuning, assuming that he doesn't give us Escher. He doesn't have a speed lead yet. So we get to go first, unless he brings a speed lead. Um, and we may get to go first anyway. I do feel like he probably bans Escher, but maybe not. It's possible he doesn't. Like banning Chungpung is also really, really good. Um, yeah, I feel like he's banning Chungpung. So we can actually go here or maybe here. Actually, let's ban this. Okay, so he just wants to race me, which is interesting. So let's go HP lead. Um, just gives us a little bit more. I don't know if Miles beats Escher in a, in a 1v1 race. Maybe he does. Escher's pretty good. So he didn't. That's nice. So we get all this. We get all this. Just throwing on the heel blocks or the cleanse blocks. I think the biggest threat is actually going to be this, but we're going to knock this back to stop the cleanse blocks. Get the armor break on. We got no armor breaks. Um, let's actually go here. This guy's not going to be hurt for a while. I'm basically just wanting to stop him from putting up immunity. So this will stop the cleansing from here. Uh, or not the cleansing, it'll stop the healing from there. That actually would have been a really good thing to proc on. But the main thing is we don't want this thing to use immunity. So we're kind of like soft CCing it in a way where Rakuni can't like really fix it. And now we can just hit here because we have just some damage. Okay, so now that's stunned. Kind of procking out of stuff. And then we have our heal cycle going. So same deal, we're just gonna strip that off and do some damage. I'm going to save this in case he manages to land the, uh, in case he manages to land the, um, his immunity. Okay. GG. All right. Two more. We're kind of climbed. I think, I think I'm definitely sort of, this is a team you have to sort of get in tune with how to play. Cause I definitely was making a lot of mistakes, especially in some of those earlier games and having Barbara available was kind of a big deal. Uh, for some of those fights. So after ruining up Barbara, that was really nice. Okay, so he's drafting, he stole my Hay Gang, which is not great. Let's, uh, let's take, oh, I messed up, I messed up. Um, let's, let's just go full turn two because I can't bring Zima now because we would be sort of screwed over by, okay, so we're probably gonna ban Maxi actually. Cause this is all, what's, what's this gonna be his last pick? Could be, is it gonna be like a SEMA or something? This is like a team I would run. Um, is this triple rev? It is triple rev. He doesn't have heal blocks. Uh, let's go here, Ben Maxi, so he doesn't have armor breaks. And then we have Pater. We have Pater and we have Chungpong, so he's not gonna have immunity. So as long as we just kind of survive, we take our speed lead. He bans Tian Lang, which is like mediocre, but he doesn't have really good pushbacks. So he has to stun Pater. Pater gets boosted. A lot, it's gonna depend what's gonna happen with Pater. Cause like he, I think we have enough sustain that he just can't beat us actually. 
He gets the pater, that's fine. Does he, does he get stuns here? Because he, again, he can't reset this, and he doesn't have any more pushback, so his only damage is almost literally more. And then we have that heal, nice. Let's just do this. This is the reset. I mean, perfect. We love it. He has Hay Gang. That's fine. I don't care. If I get this, perfect. If not, it's also fine. We get more heals. If we kill more, we're kind of golden. So now we just focus the sustain. Nice additional. Does he get the sleep to keep it going? Oh, he does. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Get the stun? Yeah. No, I guess not. Didn't get the stun that time either. To be fair, our accuracy is really low. But I mean, it, he has, he's going to have to do some shenanigans here. He's, he may try to kill Tomoe in this situation. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it without attack break. Oh, oh, never mind. There's the attack buff. My mistake. Try to get the stun. Okay, we didn't. Push. Oh, now, now he goes for Chung Pung, probably. If we can kill this, I think we win. But it is a little bit sketch. Tomoe is still a little bit... I think she has a cooldown this turn. Oh, so he actually went for it. Okay. Hopefully we get the stun here. Okay, we did. That's super good. Didn't get any procs. Man, I actually kind of wish this guy had accuracy. I didn't build him with accuracy. Which is unfortunate, but I love I love the uh, I love the taunt on on these guys. Man, Pater, so good. Like if we had taunted anywhere in the middle of that, but yeah, his main thing was he didn't bring any. He he honestly he oh, Frost's turn two, his his counter picks are so good. He's just like the king of counter picks. Like every he has every good LD5 counter pick. Okay, let's see if we can win the last one. Okay, so with Vanessa first pick, right now Vanessa's cigar is like really, really popular, so I'm kind of expecting a cigar, but it's not guaranteed. You could also go Miles here. You can go all over here. Like the, uh, the people who pick 33s love picking other 33s and high speed units. Okay, so yeah, that's what he's doing. He's playing protect the all, or sorry, uh, protect the miles. Um, we don't necessarily need to go first here, so I'm actually gonna pick my slow stuff. We still have the option to pick Escher last, but like if, for instance, if he picks counter picks here, like say, um, um, if he picks like Douglas or, or something of that nature, yeah. So, so he's he's actually picking slow stuff. If he doesn't pick Douglas, we can actually pick Escher and then just kill this, um, and by banning uh, Vanessa. But we could also pick Barbara ban Vanessa. The problem is, is then you, um, okay. So Camilla is actually the scariest thing here potentially. We can go Charlotte. We can go Barbara. Actually, let's go Barbara. I, I think Barbara is fine here. Um, because we either get Barbara or we get Chung Pong. But I, I really would have, man, actually, maybe I should have been Miles. Because Miles is going to be able to desync the team the way the in the current configuration. He, he may be thinking again, Barbara's usually swift, or at least that's what everyone thinks of her as being. I mean, technically mine is swift. <laughs> but okay, so he does, so we lucked out a little bit. He gave us Chung Pong. Um, we are double fire into double water which is not great, but we do have Chung Pung still. So, but he is likely off will on everybody. So it actually doesn't even matter. 
uh, who, yeah, he is off will. So it doesn't matter if he tries to desync us because we get to go first anyway. Like, like in fact, the worst thing he could do is maybe Tomoe. And the reason I'm doing this right now is specifically so that um, uh, just to get glancing on more units is, is almost literally why. Okay, so we're actually going to go here. And then we're going to hopefully get lucky. We didn't. And then we're going to spread it. And hopefully, so in this case, now we have to push this. Um, unfortunate. Hopefully we strip without stunning. We didn't push, please. One time. Didn't. One time. Push, please. <sighs> That's really rough. Because the, the issue is that we really... Oh, actually, hold on. We, we actually did outspeed it. That's funny. So what I was trying to do was get the cleanse block on before... Um... Stun, maybe? Crazy. Luckily, we've cycled enough that it doesn't even matter. Because, yeah, our, our, kill, our kill threat on Juno is honestly based on um, cleanse blocking the Juno. Um, let's go for the stun here again. <laughs> He's got to be so mad. Unfortunately, that was, that was a mistake. That was actually a, a, a problem. Oh, no, it's actually, it's okay. Okay, so if he doesn't kill that this turn, we're kind of geared up to do another one. Okay, that's, that's really good. Nice push. That was a mistake on his part. This is actually really nice. Hopefully this... Okay, and then we get to do this. This is perfect. I probably should have just killed Rakuni with that hit. I think we have another unit moving in front, though. Okay, that's nice. Cleanse block here, perfect. It's cool. Hopefully we don't crit. Good. Hopefully we do crit, we didn't. Okay, GG. There's lots of ATB manipulation on this team. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's the <laughs> first 27 First, number four through 33 wings for the season for, for Ross's account. And yeah, he, he basically just said, go wild, have some fun with it. Uh, I decided to show, to do like a double whammy of the um, the Zima team, as well as sort of showcasing how to do like a swap build. Uh, hopefully this helps some of you. Um, and yeah, hopefully everybody has a good one and see you in the next one.